Just like a house covered in lights, our DNA gives us a lot to look at, except ours stays put after the holiday. Now, dog DNA tests have become wildly popular, or should I say popular, so we're seeing what all the bark's about. It's on The Breakdown. We've heard about home DNA kits for a while, but right now our dogs are in the spotlight. Ken Colburn and his dog Dee Dee have experience, but me and my dog Jeter wanted to know about them straight from the pup's mouth. First, how does it work? This is a different kind of DNA test. We're talking about DNA tests for dogs. Yeah. Have you seen a growing trend in this? I gotta say, I think I've heard more people talk about doggy DNA tests more than their human DNA tests. Just like a human test, all it takes is a cheek swab from the provided kit. Then just send it back and wait a few weeks for the results. The most difficult part of the process is you have to convince your dog that it needs to stick this cotton swab in its mouth and be okay with it. Okay. <laughs> Next, know what to expect. What are some of the benefits of getting um, your dog's DNA test? So I think the most useful reason is to understand are there pre-existing medical conditions in this rescue dog that I should be aware of. If you're trying to figure out exactly what the breed is, that's a much more difficult thing to get right. Breed testing is only one aspect of the test. You'll also learn if your dog is genetically predisposed to some diseases. Are they more prone to cancer, eye issues? Are they allergic to certain medications? These are things that they can actually detect. Once you know what they're about, figure out which test you want. Number one would be a company called Embark. They typically have the largest base of generic data that, that we're looking for. Embark cost 159 bucks, and it's the one Ken used on Didi. It's the most expensive, but it has the most breeds and genetic info. <laughs> Wisdom Panel is similar, but costs less than Embark, but has less bells and whistles. Keep in mind the price usually indicates how extensive the test can be. There's a third one called DNA My Dog that is even cheaper, and they're trying to focus on some other areas, including what's the life expectancy of your dog based on the genetic makeup that they can determine. Finally, after Dee Dee's test, Ken warns to be careful what you wish for. The science on this is still early in the early stages. The good news for Dee Dee is that she's clear of 160 different genetic issues that they test for. According to Embark, she is 60% Cocker Spaniel and the majority of the... <laughs> she was like, yeah, wait, exactly. what? That, that's exactly <laughs> what we did. Whatever the breed, we love our dogs down to ours and their DNA. That's on The Breakdown.